Hello guys, I'm Fastan, a Rainbow Six Siege Twitch streamer. Today, I'll show you my favorite Maestro Evil Eye placements. Some of these are inspired by EU World games and some on what I saw in my games. I'll show you where to place the Evil Eye, what you can see with it, and how it works. First off, I'm taking you to Oregon, and both of these placements are inspired by EWL games. The first one is from a game between Kovana and Trainhard. In this kitchen defense round, you can see that the Maestro places an Evil Eye on the dining table, and one in the rotate of the shower to kitchen. Especially the shower cam has a wide range that it can cover. It can see people walk past shower door by pixel, and it can see all the way to the kitchen door. The cam on the table can see kitchen, the bottom of white stairs, and the small tower door. With both of these cams, you can deny a default plant behind the couch in dining. The downstairs cams for Oregon are also inspired by EUL, but this time from a game between BDS and Team Secret. In this video, it's difficult to see, but the Maestro places one cam on the double doors at highway, and one cam at the double doors to laundry. As you can see in this video, they also leave the single wall to pillar soft, and they have some shotgun holes towards the big tower stairs. This gives great purpose to the evil eye because you can spot and zap players coming down the big tower stairs. With this cam, you can also see from Frieza door all the way to the elbow rotate. Most teams like to make head height holes on the freezer wall, so with the eye cam, you can spot players coming down the freezer stairs. You can see all the way to the laundry stairs, but you can't zap people there. An alternative to either of these cams would be to place the cam in Blue Bunker. It gives you an early indication of people pushing Blue Bunker, and you can spot people coming down the big tower stairs. On the next map, Clubhouse, I have a set of cams for the CCTV objective. I place one on the table at CCTV and one on the table in cash room. If you melee or shoot the monitors on the CCTV shells, you can create a sneaky line of sight to the default plan spot. This could help you stop the default plans from happening. Together with all these default shotgun holes and rotates, you can cover a big part of both objectives with these cameras. On Consulate, I have a set for a garage, and this is a quite common one with a variation. If you place an evil eye next to the white van, you can create a line of sight underneath the white van to the breach and a default plan spot. You can either place the other evil eye on the other side of the white van to zap drones in the drone hole, or have another angle on the breach and default plant. A variation would be to put the evil eye on the pillar here, so you can watch the yellow stairs and the breach at the same time. For the lobby and consulate, I usually place my evil eye on this couch in lobby and on the wall here in piano. The combination of these two cams allows you to cover the entire site and to stop a default plant at the lobby double doors. On border, for the armory archives objective, I place one of my evil eyes on this half wall. The second evil eye goes on the lockers at Archives. This one gives you a good view of the entire Archives objective. The half wall cam is very annoying to attackers that want to walk into the breach or want to plant at the default spot. You can't cover that entirely, but you can give the call if they're hogging the wall at the default plant spot. For Coastline, there's a sneaky cam spot on the hookah bar. If you jump up the bar and then crouch to the doorway, you can put the cam right here next to the doorway. It'll confuse a lot of players walking in the door and getting zapped. I place the second cam behind the pool table. This creates a line of sight to Aqua door and the default plan spot. It's difficult to spot out because it's on the floor and the pool table is in front of it if attackers push from Aqua. For Villa, I have a few cams for the Aviator Games objective. I mainly use these cams to stop the breach from opening up to Games or Aviator. There are two alternatives to this one. 
you can put it on the hatch here, and if you shoot open the hatch, players won't be able to melee the evil eye. An alternative would be to place it behind the couch, so players that attempt to breach from the study balcony won't even notice there's an evil eye that can zap away their utility. The second gem goes into the 90 hallway. Here, you can also open up the hatch, so again, players can't melee the evil eye. You can spot players coming from the red stairs, landing, and all the way to the top of the main stairs. For the trophy statuary objective, I use my evil eyes for the same purpose, to stop the breach. That's why, again, for the master bedroom, there are two alternatives. You can either place the evil eye on the wall or the bed. But that one is quite visible and easy to destroy with an S charge from the master windows. The alternative is to place it next to this little half wall window at the bedroom wall. Attackers won't be able to spot this one from the master windows and you can sneakily zap away their utility. The second cam goes into this wall next to landing. If you hop on the couch and destroy some of the books, you can place it there. It gives you a view all the way to the aviator door and the red stairs. On the downstairs objective for Bank, I place an evil eye next to this desk in server room. If an attacker pushes from the tunnel, they won't notice the cam easily. Again, you can use it to zap away a breach on the walls. The second cam goes on this desk in CCTV and is mainly used to stop an attacker that's going for a default plant. This is one that is difficult to shoot for attackers as the attacker that covers the plan has to be right behind the planter to be able to see the evil eye. This could lead to a potential double kill if a defender C4s the default plan spot. For the upstairs objective in Canal, I place one of my evil eyes onto the screens in control room. Because of the brightness of these screens, it can be quite hard to spot this evil eye if you're pushing from Skybridge. I place the other one on this desk in radar room. The one in radar room can cover this entire site, all the way to green door if there is a rotate. For the snow and wine cellar objective in Chalet, I place one of my evil eyes onto this little table here. You can get up there by walking up on the chair and then meleeing the glass and you can step up on it. I place the second evil eye next to the main breach. The evil eye at the main breach can cover a plant in the default position and the wine cellar cam can cover a plant behind these walls in the wine cellar. Usually, when attackers open up trench and go for a planter, it can be really difficult to retake that. So this evil eye could give you some time to stop the plant and to make the retake easier. If you've watched some of my other YouTube videos, you may have seen this evil eye set on Cafe before. It's inspired by an EUL game and it appeared in my video about easy pro strats for ranked. If you want to see more strats that aren't necessarily Maestro related, you can click the card on the top of the screen. This bar cam, in combination with shotgun holes, can give you great lines of sight into piano. I like to use the bar one, but I have a different one for the cocktail cam. The other cam I use is in piano and has multiple purposes. You can have someone play in piano and leave them undetected as you can use the evil eye to zap away drones. You can zap players, give intel and clear utility once they go for a freezer breach. The other cam and bar is a great camera for plan denial and information gathering. And you've come so far in the video, so you probably liked the video or the content. If you think I deserved your subscription, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and then I'll see you in the next one.